Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be turning a Steam Deck into a desktop PC using this new iVolver Steam Deck dock that you can pick up on Amazon. On the channel a couple months ago, we took a look at another Steam Deck dock that didn't have Ethernet built in, and that was one of the main things that I needed out of a dock for my Steam Deck. And uh, actually, one of the biggest reasons I needed two of them was my wife's using the other one right now with her Steam Deck. We've got two of them at the house. She likes having it hooked up to her 24-inch monitor when she's not on the go. And to tell you the truth, I use these Steam Deck docks for other devices that I have, like Android tablets, iPads will connect to it. Because basically what we have here is a USB Type-C dock. Now, like I mentioned, I really wanted Ethernet. So we've got a gigabit Ethernet port right on this unit. It's constructed of aluminum. Really good build quality here. Round back, we've also got three USB 3.0 ports. Full-size HDMI, and this will do 4K 60 out. And we've also got another USB Type-C port in for charging up whatever device you have connected to this. Now, it's definitely sold on Amazon as a Steam Deck dock, but like I mentioned, these can be used with other devices. And if you take a look on Amazon right now at all of the docks that are available, you'll actually find some of them that are blocking off the intake vent on the Steam Deck. Now, this one here won't block it off whatsoever, so you don't have to worry about cooling with this dock here. Now, I have seen some of them that raise up so far. It does block half of that vent on the rear, but once this is sitting right in the middle, it's not going to obstruct that intake vent at all. Now, I completely understand that first and foremost, the Steam Deck is meant to be a handheld gaming device, but that's not stopping a lot of people from using it basically in desktop mode, connected to a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter, plug in a mouse, keyboard, you can plug in extra hard drives, and with something like this, we also have access to Ethernet. And in Deck UI mode, you can use it on a big screen, you can connect a keyboard, you can connect an external controller, be it USB or Bluetooth. But we also have desktop mode, which basically turns your Steam Deck into a full-fledged Linux desktop. I've got my Ethernet plugged in. Now, you don't have to use Ethernet if you don't want to, but personally, I like having a wired connection. HDMI, I'm going to be connecting to a 4K display. I've also got a wireless keyboard-mouse combo connected using the USB dongle and a 1TB USB flash drive from Kingston. That's just going to up my storage. I can put movies on it. I can put games on it. It's really up to you what you do with external storage. Now that I have all the little extras that I'm going to be using with the dock plugged in, I'll just set the Steam Deck here. We're going to plug in that single USB Type-C cable right up top here, and the deck is going to automatically detect that we've connected an external display. Give it a few seconds, and there you have it. So right now we're in Deck UI mode, and if you've got a keyboard and mouse plugged in, you can use it right here in Deck UI mode. Once you launch a game, you can actually play your games with that keyboard and mouse. Or you could connect a wired or wireless controller, and that's personally what I like to do. Now, I've tested a bunch of different controllers with the Steam Deck, and everything seems to work, but one of my favorites is the Gillikit King Kong 2 Pro. It's a great controller with hall based sensor joysticks, so yeah, you're not going to get any drift at all down the road. But if you've already got, like, let's say a PS4, a PS5, an Xbox, or even a Switch controller, it will work over Bluetooth. And by the way, to bring up the Steam Deck settings, you're going to press your home button and A button at the same time. And this is going to bring up that settings overlay. And yeah, this does work in game also. So yeah, connecting to an external display in deck mode does work out really well. And we can game right here. Now keep in mind, you know, I'm connected to a 4K monitor. And yeah, there are some older games that the Steam Deck will handle at 4K over 60. But with newer AAA stuff, you're going to be limited to that 720p or maybe even lower depending on the game. And the Steam Deck is going to default to that resolution, but with each of these games, we can actually up the resolution. So on easier to run games or older games, we can go into the settings, preferences, and change the resolution from here. We can go all the way up to 4K, but with something like Spider-Man Remastered, I'm set at 720p because it's definitely a harder game to run. But yeah, let's go ahead and test this one out in Deck UI mode at 720p, and then we'll move over to an older game and up it to 4K. Okay, so here's Spider-Man Remastered, and personally, whenever I play this game, I lock it to 30, even on the built-in screen of the Steam Deck. I just personally think it feels a little better at 30. You can go up to 40 if you want to, but I see more dips that way. This way, we're basically locked at a nice steady 30 FPS with it, and it's not bad at all. And even though we're at 720p right now on a larger display, uh, the scaling looks pretty decent. Okay, so next up we've got Half-Life 2, and I completely understand that this is an older game, but it's still really impressive that this can run it at 4K. So if I head into the settings here, you'll see that we're at a native 4K resolution, and we're at high with this game. This actually averages around 82 FPS at 4K high on the Steam Deck, and you know, to get that 4K resolution, you're definitely going to want some USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. And the Steam Deck is actually detecting that I am connected to a 144Hz monitor, 
so we could uh, set that frame limiter there, but there's not a lot of stuff that's going to run at 144 hertz on the Steam Deck. Either way, I still think this is really impressive. Half-Life 2 4K high settings on a handheld. Okay, so yeah, the dock's working out really well so far in deck UI mode, but uh, now it's time to move over to desktop mode. This is where I would mainly use the Steam Deck connected to a display like this. From power, you can head to switch to desktop. And the first time you do this, the external display might be acting as your secondary display. You can always go down to settings and swap this out. We can also totally disable the Steam Deck's built-in screen and just use that external display. And that's personally how I like to have mine set up. And right now we're at 4K. I know it's a bit hard to see because I don't have any scaling going. But yeah, I mean, 4K, 60 FPS in desktop mode. We've also got scaling that you can activate from the settings, or you could just drop that resolution down a little bit to get these icons a bit bigger. But it works out really well in desktop mode. Now uh, I'll just test a 4K YouTube video here. So 4K, 60 FPS. We'll go ahead and full screen this. I'll turn Stats for Nerds on. And with the Steam Deck, we do get a few drop frames, but you know, if you didn't have a frame counter on or something like Stats for Nerds running, it's something you'd never notice. It does handle 4K video output really well. So if you wanted to stream some of your favorite content from online or even play it natively from an external drive or internal drive, you're good to go. You could also install Kodi on this and use it kind of as a big media center. It's really up to you. We can access the Discover Store, and from here we've got thousands of apps that we can download. Productivity, you want to get a photo editor, a video editor. Right now I'm going to download GIMP, which is a free photo editor. It's basically free Photoshop. And once that's finished downloading, I can just go ahead and launch it. I've downloaded a 4K photo online that we can edit right here. I've just got it on my desktop. Everything loads up really quickly. I'll just do a quick color selection test. I'll just go with a random color here. We can delete that, and yeah, I mean, you could definitely use the Steam Deck for photo editing or even video editing. Now, with video editing, I would probably stick to 1080p. Now, it would handle 4K, but exporting may take a long time on the Steam Deck since we've only got four cores and eight threads, but it would be possible to do 4K video editing. Just might be a bit slower than 1080. So far, Doc's working great. It does handle 4K 60 out, whether you want to use desktop mode or deck UI mode. Uh, one thing that I wanted to test was Ethernet speeds. Now we're going to do a real world test here, not a theoretical test. I want to see what my network can provide over Ethernet with this unit. Okay, so first up, we've got Wi-Fi. This is the built-in Wi-Fi on the Steam Deck. I mean, not too shabby. I do have gigabit Ethernet at the house and a Wi-Fi 6 router, a pretty decent Wi-Fi 6 router. But the Steam Deck only has Wi-Fi 5 built in. 340 down, 277 up on Wi-Fi. Now with Ethernet plugged in, we should get much faster speeds. So yeah, using the Ethernet port on the dock, we are way faster than Wi-Fi, and I suspected it would be. We're 840 down, I'd say 850 up. And yeah, I mean, even over Wi-Fi, it's not a slow speed. It does work out well, but when I'm downloading large games from Steam, I always like to be plugged into Ethernet, and I can get some really good speeds out of this dock. So yeah, the iVolver dock for the Steam Deck is one that I could recommend. If you're interested in learning more, I will leave a link to Amazon in the description. Now you can always wait for Valve's official dock if you want to, but we still don't have an official release date when that's going to be out. So if you're looking for something now, yeah, this would be a great choice. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Like always, thanks for watching.